hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this is felix art this is the part two on how to shade on your sketchbook app so i want to do next in this video okay um you can see this is where i stopped in, uh, in the last video okay so um let's say okay um i will use this tool i will, I will use the uh, flow airbrush then make sure that you're using this color Okay, make sure that you see this color. So guys, um, what to do next? You just use the flow airbrush. Okay, make sure that you're in this layer. Okay, make sure that you're in that same layer. Now I'm going to use this mush brush, the um, flow airbrush, to add something like this. Okay. see you see how I'm adding the the shade so um so once once yours is like this or you can use the hard air brush okay you can use the hard air brush just to create something like this okay you can use the hard air brush to create something like this So guys, um, once you're done with that part, you can use your smudge brush. Use your smudge brush to use your, your smudge brush to blend. So we are going to set the flow to five percent, and it starts to blend like this. Then you, then you are going to smudge this place also. So let's make the shading uh, look very smooth. Just take the flow to two percent. Okay. You know I adjust my flow every time when I'm doing some shadings. Okay. So you, so you just have to to reduce the to reduce the flow. Just to have this smooth, this um, smooth, um, this smooth shade. So you can see this is how I'm doing mine. Okay. So at this point, I can take the flow to seven percent, just to drag this place here. Like you don't need to add more. You don't need to add more. Um, you don't need to add more shadings like that. You just use this mush brush to drag this particular place. Okay. So let's say it's getting good like this. Okay. Just what you need to do. Okay. So like once you're done with that part. Okay. Once you're done with that part, you can still add some dark shades here if you want. So this is what I'll just uh, use the the dark color. Make sure that you're using your um, make sure that you're using the flower brush. Okay, and just add something here like this. Just to give it this look. Okay. So once you're done with that, then use your smudge brush. Change change the flow to to four percent. Then you drag it. Like this. So now um, I can take the flow to two percent. Then start doing some shades like this. See, I'm using this mush brush to join these sides together. Okay. 
So now at this point, what to do next? Okay, what to do, do next once you are done with this parkour side? Because um, I'm not sure if um, this part two is going to cover everything, but I'll just show you the things that you need to to learn when shading on, on, on the sketchbook. So um, you can see that you need to smudge. You will need to take more time doing these parts because um, you can see I'm actually um, I look at the reference when doing all this shit because um, you don't need to you don't need to create your own design. Let's say you don't need to do things the way you want because um, let's say. Um, like you just need to do it the way it is on the reference so now you can see that we, we still need to add something here again okay so at this point just what you just do here is set the flow to three percent then you just drag here like this you can see just drag that part now once you drag it then you, you blend again blend now you can take the flow back to one percent then you blend this side you can see that this particular side needs more attention okay so um i'm going to make sure i get this particular side before we move to the next part okay you can see so guys um what to do next and add something around here you can just add some little shade around here okay so i'll just use the flow airbrush then use this color then just add something like this you don't need to add much first one then use your smudge brush to blend make sure to set it to three percent and start doing it like this just blend that part can see so once you are blending this particular side you just need to be very careful because um, once you do a um, um, like if you don't do it uh, right it will look somehow you can see you just need to focus more on the reference okay because there are some places that requires more more attention so now guys at this point I will just use this much brush just take the flow to 6% then I'm going to join this area to this can see so once I'm joining that sparkling side then you can join here and here so now guys at this point you can use your um, I'm, I'm still going to add more. I will add more. I'll add more shadings to this place. Just use the floor airbrush, then add something here again like this. Just add one like this. Okay. So once you're done with that part, then you leave it. Okay. Just leave it the way it is. So now let's go back to this place here again. Just use the hard air. Eraser to erase some parts like this. So once you erase that part, then use your smudge brush, set it to three percent, then it starts to blend. You see. 
So what to do next here, I'll just move back to this particular place, set the flow to 5%, then I'll just drag here like this. So once I'm doing it like that, so once I'm doing it like that, then I will Okay, so you, you can see we are almost getting it. Now what to do next here again? You can see you just need to add some shadings right here again. Um, what to just do? Just use your use your flow airbrush. Then you add something here again like this. Yes. Okay. You can see you just need to take your time doing this type of shading because um. Because um, if you don't take your time, you're just you're doing mistakes every time. So now uh, we are done with the left face. Then we're, then we're going to move over to this chin side. So what to do here? Very easy. Use your use your hard. Use your hand airbrush and do some shadings like this. Okay. Then use your smudge brush to blend. You can see I'm joining this these two sides. Okay. Now I'm going to blend this particular place here again. Then use your smudge brush to blend. So now I'm done with that part. Just do it the way you see it on the on the reference. You see. Make sure yours is like this. So now guys, at this point, what to do next here? I can take the flow to 9%. Then drag it like this. So what to do next here is to add some dark shadows using this dark color so you do it like this so um so once so once you are done with that part then you can see add some dark shadows in the jaw side okay can see add some some dark shadow at the jaw side. So I'll just add something here like, like this. Okay. So once I'm done with that side, let's add something here again. Okay. Then at this point. I'll use a smudge brush to blend this particular side. Just like that. Okay. So once I'm done with that side, then use a smudge brush to 
smush these parts on the side. So now guys, what to do next, use the floor airbrush, then you add some back shadows, then use your smudge brush to add some, some effects here like this. So, um, so once you are done with that, So once you're done with that particular side, you can see. Um, you can take the flow down to six percent, just make it look smooth, or take it to five or um, to four percent, to four percent if you want. So now um, at this point, we need to add the last one right here. Let's add something like this. Okay. So now at, the, um, at this point right here, like I'm going to stop. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Let me do some final touches. So now I'm going to stop right here. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. So I'm um, see you in the part three. Okay, but um, before I, I end the video, I'm going to use the hard eraser to erase these parts of the map side. Because um, like you're going to open uh, a new layer on uh, on the part three. So I'm going to stop this side right here. Okay guys, um, this is the part 2, get ready for the part 3, thanks for watching.